Hey Aquarius, welcome, welcome. Uh, Spooky's joining me today for our read, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll see what Mama Universe has in store for you today. Alrighty, so Universe, what messages do you have for Aquarius today? Do you have some guidance, some advice? Well, and I feel like, I feel like those guys want to pop out of there. So let's see what she's got for you today. So we have Never Ending Story, Unfinished Symphony, Loyal Heart, All That Glitters, and Message in a Bottle. Hmm. So I feel like we're speaking to, I feel like we're going to be speaking about a relationship, um, I feel like it's a long-term relationship and I feel like there's some issues uh, going on there that all that glitters um, can sometimes be a warning. Uh, I feel like there's something under the surface here, uh, something that's not being said, something that needs to be communicated and that's also what the Unfinished Symphony is speaking to. I have community. To be fair, flexible, regeneration, and happy, happy. Okay, I feel like we're speaking to, I feel like we're speaking of a need to bring balance back into this relationship. I feel like communication is going to be a big part of this. And I feel like it's also going to be a new beginning um, for you and your partner as well. Uh, working your way back to happiness. So I have the Six of Cups and the Six of Cups can speak to the past. And I think we are speaking of, I think we're speaking of a pattern um, or things that have happened in the past and needing to be able to, to sort them out between the two of you and then move past them. So I feel in that, in that to be fair, I feel scales needing to be balanced and in that flexible, I, I'm definitely feeling a need for an even give and take here. But I do have the Hermit card and the Hermit card speaks to introspection. I feel like it's tied into this Five of Cups. Um, the Five of Cups is a warning not to get stuck in negative emotions so much so that you have trouble seeing positivity around you. I, I feel like we're speaking of a need to, to move forward, to let go of something um, from the past, to be able to bring balance, to move forward. The Ace of Pentacles represents new beginnings. The Knight of Pentacles uh, speaks of somebody who's steadfast. So I feel like this is a long-term uh, committed relationship. I feel like nobody's going anywhere. So I feel like there is definitely a need to sort these issues out, um, to be able to bring harmony back into the relationship. Yeah, and I have the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. So we're definitely talking about uh, two people who are meant to be together. That doesn't mean that everything is going to be easy. I have the Nine of Wands, which represents working towards a goal over time, having to overcome many obstacles. So I feel like there definitely have been obstacles along the way for the two of you. I feel like it's built up over time. I feel like there's things that haven't been said. Um, so this, the message in a bottle card, when I when I see it, I think of, it's almost like you guys are trying to tell each other how you feel without coming out and saying it. It's like you're hinting at it and then hoping that the other person got the hint, but they're not. And then it just builds over time and over time because nobody's getting what they need. I think if there is a need here to clear the air. The Emperor card to me represents success. So I see that, I see that your relationship can have success. It can have that longevity. You can find that happiness and that happy, happy card. Um, there is going to be some work that needs to be done on both sides. I feel like reflection is an important part of that and letting go of the past to move forward. The world card speaks of positive things manifesting for you in your life, but these are not ones that just show up out of the blue. These are ones that you have to earn. And so I feel like it's also speaking to the happiness that can be in your future, the harmony that the two of you can have together, but the work has to get put in to be able to find that harmony. I 
I have the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Swords can represent a feeling which you, you feel is unfair, or a situation which you feel is unfair. And I feel like it's speaking to somebody's needs not getting wet, somebody not being listened to. Um, I have the Four of Swords, uh, which represents taking time um, for self-care. I feel like it's tied into that Hermit card. I feel like there's... I feel like there's a need to clarify your own heart and your own feelings regarding everything that's been going on um, within yourself first so that you can then communicate them clearly to your partner. The temperance card represents a balance, a balance between emotion and logic. And I feel like it's speaking to your interactions. And when you guys are speaking about what's going on in the past and working your way through these issues, uh, nobody gets their dander up and shuts down right away. That you're able to hear what the other person has to say. Um, I really drink it in and think about it. I do have the chariot card, which represents perseverance. So to me, it it says that this is, this might be a bit of a journey for the two of you. It might take some time um, to bring this harmony about. But the magician card says you have all the tools that you need to be successful. So definitely, tarot is saying to move forward to persevere. You do have success in your future, but it is going to take some work on both your parts. Yeah, I have the Five of Swords here. The Five of Swords, um, I believe that he's a warning against selfish or short one victories. Victories at the cost of others. So when you guys are discussing things, to not allow it to devolve into an argument where one person wins. Because when one person wins, somebody else loses. So it just, it just adds um, to the issues that are going on. The Page of Swords represents delayed or disappointing news. And I have it next to the Three of Swords, which is the Heartbreak card. To me, this is a warning to not allow this to happen um, because it can have a detrimental effect on your relationship. The Eight of Wands speaks of swift change. So I feel like it's saying that swift change is needed in this relationship to help heal things, to help solve issues, and to help find that happiness again. Now, I do have the Page of Pentacles, which represents good news on the way right next to that Eight of Wands. So to me, that tells me that this swift change is going to bring good news. It's going to bring good things. It's going to bring healing. I have the Two of Pentacles, which speaks of a balance. The Four of Pentacles, to me, is all about an even give and take. Nobody holding back from the other person. Um, it's echoing that that Five of Swords. I have the Hierophant, which speaks of a higher learning uh, and an insight. And the Hanging Man, which speaks of the only thing that could possibly hold you back from success is you. Uh, and I feel like it's speaking to this Temperance card. It's speaking of the insight. Uh, it's speaking of... The way that the two of you are going to go about handling these conversations so that nobody's judgmental, nobody gets angry, everybody gets to be heard, and you actually are actively hearing what the other person says instead of while they're talking. You're thinking about what you're going to say next. I, I do that sometimes. So again, zero judgment, guys, because I, I got my own stuff too. Uh, this page of cups represents good news on the way and that of an emotional nature. So I feel like it's speaking to... The hope and potential for healing and finding balance and harmony in this relationship. And the Ten of Wands can represent feeling overwhelmed or overburdened. I feel like it's just speaking to that this is a process. This is something that you guys are going to have to do over time. Because I feel like you're going to have to relearn habits and speaking to each other as well. But I think within that, you're going to find this happiness. I feel like the King of Cups is symbolic in this read. Um, Cups represents emotion. So this King of Emotion, um, there's emotional fulfillment, there's happiness, and there's inner peace, there's harmony. I have the Four of Wands, uh, which represents setting down a solid foundation for a happy home life. Because I feel like that's what this change is going to bring. It's just going to solidify the relationship. It's setting down a solid foundation for happiness for years to come. And the Three of Cups represents happiness and celebration. So I do see beautiful, wonderful things coming your guys's way I see the potential for healing I see the potential for happiness and definitely there needs to be uh, some work on communication I feel like that is the key here for success Alrighty, guys that's what the card said to me I hope that you enjoyed the read uh, please feel free to comment if it resonated with you I would love to hear about it take care